Hi guys, so I was asked to do a video on some of the vacuum moulds and um, today I'm just using the plain and the unicorn hippo which I think is called Henry but might not be so I've got a very bad memory. So I've got my mixture ready. Now I've made it a little bit wetter than normal because it's so humid so I'm hoping this works. Um, I have a tendency to make my mixture a little bit on the dry side and I thought no I'm going to make it a little bit wetter because it's so humid so let's see. So I just put a little handful in and then pack it down all the way throughout the mould. Um, that picks up all the detail that's on the front of the mould. So get another handful, sprinkle it over, another handful, sprinkle it over. And then with the palm of my hand, circular motion, little bit of pressure, but not a lot. And then that just slightly compacts it, but nothing major. Gives me a smooth, I was gonna say surface, it's the backing, um, and it normally works. I'm a little bit wary about taking this out because as I say, it's a little bit damper than I would normally make the mixture, but let's see. Give it a good old slam. Bit of uh, bashing, and there we go. So I'm going to do another one. So just and because this <clears throat> excuse me because this mixture is a little bit wetter, I'm not pressing down too much because normally, as I say, my mixture is drier, so I can really press down. So I've just patted it really with my thumbs if you're going to put embeds in put them in now and then just sprinkle over it is so hot i am sweating like you won't believe sweating in places i didn't know you could sweat anyway so circular motion very very light pressure gets rid of the excess packs it down but doesn't pack it tightly you see my fingers come through the glove um, I've got a flat back so let's slam that down and there we go nice and easy let's try with my uh, unicorn hippo So again, just a little handful, and I'm just going to lightly pack down. I don't want to pack down too tightly, because as I say, it is a wetter mixture than normal. Fill up with embeds if you want to. Oh, mine shot. There we go. Fill up with embeds if you want to. Otherwise, I'm just going to sprinkle a couple of handfuls over this. Like that. And then again, circular motion. So I just hold it with one hand, circular motion with the other. And there we are, we're done. So I've got a smooth back. It's compact it, but not really hard, so it should float. Um, and it's completely filled. So let's get this bad boy out. <laughs> There we go. Oh, little crack. Let's just put that together. There we go. He's done. Uh, let's do another one. So a little handful. Doesn't have to be a major handful. It's just enough to cover the base of it, or what will be the front of the mould, just to pick up the details. Light press down, nothing too major. Fill it with embeds if you want to. I'm not. So I'm just going to sprinkle a couple of handfuls over. Okay, and then circular motion. Rub off the excess. Okay, let's bash him out. There we go, perfect. So that's how I use the vacuum. Um, to me, 
they are so simple so easy to use they're perfect i i love 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 these i love the 3d molds um i've got a drawer full of them you know i've got sitting next to me i've got the cloud and i've got the two donuts um and i love these I, lo I, I love all of the BBHP moulds. They are all easy to use. Whether it's vacuum, whether it's um, 3D, you'll love them. If you haven't bought one in yet, do. Just try them out. You will like it. 3D moulds can take a little bit of getting used to. But once you've got the hang of them, you'll love them. Anyway, have a good weekend. Take care.